But you really have to try and, and do it yourself, okay? No, no, this one specific, but all of them. The question say, a four kilogram block on a horizontal rough surface, since the moment they say rough, it means date friction. Okay? So here is frictional force. It's connected to an eight kilogram block by a light and extensible string that passes over a frictionless pulley as shown below. The coefficient of kinetic friction between the block of the four kilogram and the surface is 0,6. They're giving you the coefficient of friction. They are not giving you frictional force. So they're giving you the coefficient of friction. Kinetic friction is equal to 0,6. That is part of the data. Okay? Question 2.1. Draw a free body diagram of all the forces acting on both blocks. So you have to draw two free body diagrams. This one is for marks. It's been asked like that. Therefore, you cannot include either the axis nor the component. If you do that, you lose the marks. When they ask you to do it for marks, you cannot include anything extra but just force. All right. However, let's have a look here quickly on the blocks, what forces are acting there. We have here the tension that is pointing in that direction. This one is not the free body. This is just forces for you to see before you draw the free body. You have weight. You have normal force. And then you have friction. Those are the four forces that are acting on the block. You also look at the marks. If the marks have four marks, it means you should have four forces, not more. Okay? So for 2.1, let's do it here on the right side. There is question 2.1, the dot. All the forces coming out of that dot. So what forces are there? Tension to the right. You have normal pointing upward. You have weight pointing straight down. And you have friction. If you do that, you should get one mark for each force. All right? Let's go for the eight kilogram block. What forces are acting there? Let's go quickly to the block. There is tension pointing upward. There is tension pointing upward. And there is weight pointing down. There is not normal because the block is not on a surface. For normal to be there, there must be contact surface between an object and a surface. So the only two forces there are going to be tension up and weight not normal. Weight pointing down. If you have to do this one, there will be two marks. There we go. Okay, so now let's go to the next question. Write down Newton's second law of motion in words. And let's write it down maybe here next to the free body diagrams. That is the second part. The acceleration is directly proportional to the net force and for that you will get the first mark. The symbol for this one, so that is the first part and this one is the symbol. You cannot write it in a symbol. You write it in word. They say stay in word. The second part, the second part is the acceleration is inversely proportional to the mass of the object. Okay. In symbol, if you write that one in symbol, you get that acceleration is inversely proportional to the mass. There's one mark for that one. Okay, so we're moving on. The next question said, calculate the acceleration of the system. Right? Now, to calculate the acceleration of the system, you are going to follow the same steps as the previous question. The only difference is the following. This object here, the four kilogram block, is moving in that direction. It's moving in that direction. Let me show you here. And the eight kilogram block is moving in that direction. That is the only difference from what we did before in the first question. The steps are the same. 
Okay? Now, step one, to write the data. We already did write all the data there. It is important. It is really important. Second step is draw the free body diagram. This one is quite simple, and you already did draw the free body diagram there. I like to include the axis, but if you draw it there and you know it's only two axes, then it's not a, a problem. So you don't have to. Okay? So now we go here and we have to work separated for each block for 4 kg. And we are going to apply Newton's second law there. Okay? So F net is equal to MA. There we go. We're working in the X axis. I say this one because otherwise I see examples when children start adding all the forces that they find out. We're only working in X. All right? You don't have to write in X. This is not part of the, of the work. So what forces we have there? We have the tension that is pointing to the right, the frictional force that is pointing to the left, and that is equal to M A. Are you with me? We go on and let's have to do what we have. Do we have tension? We don't have tension. Do we have frictional force? They are not giving us frictional force. They only gave us the mess. And the mess is 4 A. Is it possible to calculate friction? Yes, it is possible to calculate friction. You do have a formula to calculate friction. Friction is equal to kinetic coefficient of friction multiplied by normal. Are you with me? Now, we still do not have the normal. We don't know the normal. So we have to calculate the normal force. Where are we going to calculate the normal force? We are going to go now to y-axis. Because the normal is in the y-axis. What forces do we have in y-axis? Normal and weight only in this example. It's not always like that. Be careful. Okay? So now here, you actually have to apply Newton's first law. But it's fine. It's fine. If you don't apply it, I think you may get the marks. Okay? But the correct way is to apply Newton's first law. Newton's first law because the object is not moving in the y-axis. So I'm coming here, I have normal minus weight is equal to zero. Normal is equal to weight. Normal is equal to mg, and you may calculate the normal. It's four times 9,8. Normal is equal to comma two. That is the normal, and the four we can substitute there. You can work everything in one equation if you want, or you can work step by step. It depends on your, your, your understanding. I personally think it's easy if you work step by step rather than start substituting into one formula. That is my personal opinion. Okay? So I'm coming back here and I say friction is equal to kinetic coefficient of friction is given to us and it was um, 0, 0,6. So it's 0, 0,6 multiplied by the normal which we just calculated 39,2 so frictional force is equal to 23,52 52 52 Newton and now I have the friction I'm going back there and I substitute the friction in that um, sorry in that part there there we go you see? Once more, I think it's easier if you struggle with physics because it's difficult. I recommend you to do it step by step. Don't start substituting formula inside another formula because at the end you make mistakes. But you can make mistakes, okay? So you come here and I'm going to substitute. I'm going to work with that equation. T, I still don't know T, minus friction, which is 23, 5, 2 is equal to 4, 8. I now have two unknowns. 
So I cannot go on. I'm going to call this one here equation one. That is equation one. Okay? Any question there? No? I am going to work now. I stop there because I cannot go on. And I'm going to work for let's write this on this side. Newton's second law. If net is equal to MA. In what axis I'm going to work? In the y axis, because there's only y axis in the uh, 8 kilogram. The object is hanging in y axis. You don't have to do this one once more, I'm saying. What forces I have there? Weight positive is down, is pointing down. Okay? Minus tension equal to MA. Any question there? I see you people asking, are you fine there? Why? Okay, it's positive. Weight is positive because I said here, down, it's moving down and I'm taking down as positive. In, in Newton's law, it's recommended to take the direction in which the objects move as positive. I recommend you that, okay? So now weight, you don't have it. In the case of weight, it's not necessarily to do the calculation separated, but it's up to you. Weight is equal to mg, okay? This one is equal to 8 multiplied by 9,8. How much is weight here? 78,4 Newton. And then you substitute that. If you want to substitute everything in the equation, this one is simple. Okay? So you come back here and you say 78,4 minus T is equal to 8A. And I cannot go further on. I have two unknown. This one is going to be called equation 2. Is that understood? I have the two questions right there. Move it here. They have the two questions there. I am going to add. I said last time when I explained to you, I like adding. If you prefer substituting is be my guest. Do substitution. Okay? So I like to add. I'm going to write here adding. Add one and two. If you understand the adding process is fine with me. Whatever you want. Okay? So how do you add? Everything on the left with everything on the left. So starting from equation one, we have T minus 23,52. And I'm going to the next equation. I have 78 plus 78,4 minus T. That's a T. And then on the other side I have equal to 4A plus 8A. That is adding the two equations. Okay? The tensions cancel out. And then the rest is a common factor here. So what do you get there? 54 comma? 88. This is equal to? How much is this? 12A. A is equal to 54 comma 88 over 12. And then A is equal to? Excuse me? 4,5 meters per second. 7. 4,57, okay. Meters per second square. That is the acceleration uh, of this question. All right, now the marks here. Let's maybe look at how the marks are going to be given to you. There's one mark for applying Newton's second law. So you get one mark for that one, if there is an attempt of moving on. If you write only that formula, you don't get any mark, okay? There is one mark for this equation one. There would be one mark for that one. There will be one mark for calculated friction. The substitution of friction, the three marks. There will be one mark for equation two. 
and there will be one mark for the final answer. Only five marks. Calculate the magnitude of the tension in the string. So how do you calculate the tension? How do you calculate the tension? You substitute the acceleration in either one of the two equations. It's quite simple. So we're going to use, that one is what question is? Um, 2.4. 2.4. I'm going to use equation one, you can use either one. You can try it and you'll see you get the same answer. So you have T minus 23,52 is equal to 4A. That is equation one. All I'm going to do is to substitute the acceleration. So T minus 23,52 is equal to 4 multiplied by 4,57. And then you get... What do you get for answer? So you get 41. Sorry, let me fix that. 41,8. 8, just 8 Newton, 8, 2 Okay, don't round off guys, you round off to 2 decimal places after the comma Okay So it's fine, that is 2.4 That is how to calculate the tension You substitute the acceleration in either one of the two questions Now, the following Sometimes they ask you to calculate tension and they didn't say anything about the acceleration It means you need to calculate acceleration before you calculate tension That will make the question a little bit more difficult Okay and then the final question, they say calculate friction, but we already calculate friction. The friction, uh, calculation of friction is there. Okay? So any question about this work?